A few days ago, we caught some barred surf perch. And today we're gonna catch some crappie. We're gonna prepare them side by side. Give them the old taste test. All right, so under these plates, it says either crappie or perch. I can tell already. We can? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Which I think. One? Okay, what do you think? The crappie slayer himself. Crappie slayer. Woo! We're gonna it's go get him. Crappie dog. Let's go. Welcome back, guys. Today, the goal is to catch some crappie and cook them and compare them with barred surf perch. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. A few days ago, we caught some barred surf perch. And today, we're gonna catch some crappie. We're gonna prepare them side by side. Give them the old taste test. So, if you haven't had one or the other, hopefully this video helps you. If you have had both, leave it in the comments below what you think. Woo! He has entered the boat. Yes, made it. You wanna sit here? No, no, good. I'll sit in the back, six feet away. Yeah, feet away from me. Look at that, how long is this boat, Bob? 19 feet? So, it's cool. Yeah. Six. yeah. And it's wide, yeah. Sitting way in the back. Hopefully the fish aren't practicing social distancing from us. Crappie will beat perch hands down any day when it comes to the table fare. I don't know. No clue. Leroy's hooking us up. So Leroy is our resident crappie expert, as you can tell by how much he admires the flavor of these fish that we're about to catch. What should we start with? Um, well, it's an imitation of a, a baby shad. So we got all kinds of different ones. All right. Try that one. Well, I'll try different colors. We are so fortunate Leroy brought his whole assortment of grubs and tubes for these crappie. Our strategy was to continue to swap out and try different ones until we found the one the crappie were really keying in on. Crappie only feed up. They don't feel good. If you see a crappie, you know how their eyes are on the top of their head? They only go up for bait. They don't go down for bait. So once you find the depth, you want to kind of stay a little bit above that depth. That's, uh, that's the key. They only feed up. That's right. It's a good tip. Let's get them, boys. Look at that, like 10-pound braid. With a top shot. Four-pound. Uh, okay. Ooh, there you go. It's a crappie. That's the right, that's the right species. Nice, that's good. First crappie, boom. Broke the ice. Yeah, the limit on crappie is 25 per person. Let me try one of those yellow curly tails. Solid yellow. A little thinner than the other one. Mm hmm Oh, got one. Yep. That is a nice one. Ooh. We got a hook set too. Beauty. It's a nice looking fish. Yeah, I went lighter. I went lighter on the jig head so it falls a lot slower. Small presentation. Yeah, I like that slower fall because you can kind of watch your line and what it's doing. Gotta have the angle of the dangle, right? The angle of the dangle. <laughs> Here, copy, copy, copy. Yep. Got something. The desired species it is. Was it on the bottom? Uh, kind of. It was on the fall, so I, it might not have even gone to the bottom. I think we're in the hot zone, guys. Do crappie like um, like attractant? Yeah, some people use that, that what they call slab sauce or whatever. Slab sauce? I have some crappie nipples. See if you want to try. Crappie nipples? Nipples, yeah. They're all bale fish. Yeah. Put some monkey milk on. Monkey milk? That's right. Some monkey milk, Bubba. Damn, dude! All these, all these names that crappie guys come up with. Monkey milk. If I start hitting them on the monkey milk, 
that five dollars in monkey milk lure. Anyone want a banana? You got a banana on the boat? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? I was about to throw you off. The boat. <laughs> so you brought bananas. <laughs> Yep. Is that a bass? It's a big crappie. Oh, yeah. On the little underspinny thingy. <laughs> Shoo. That felt good. Mark this spot. <laughs> Use your spot lock, Bob. Here she is. Check out what I got her on. A little underspin. I needed something heavier because the wind is actually built, picking up. So, beautiful. See you later. <laughs> I wish you guys saw the. I, I wish you guys saw the look on their face when they thought I was throwing it back. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ooh. Nice crappy. On the milk of magnesia? Vidza. Vidza games. Well, that's how it's done. He was in shallow. Right up in there. By the village. Swallowed it, man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> throw a crusties, Bob. I thought about it. You throw a crusties. Another one. It's a good looking. You don't mind. Good looking fish. Uh, Bob, this is what they look like. Oh man, that's pretty much. Cool, See that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Got him. Oh yeah, it's a goodie. Smoking him. It's gorgeous. Solid one. Oh, that is a good crappie. I've caught them twice that size before. <laughs> huh? Ooh, ah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Shoot. Very next cast. Bobby, you need to get back here. That's good, man. You need to put your troops on too. Oh, baby. Having a good old time. I'm in with a tube bait. Tuber? Little tuber. I think the way the tube falls. Is very tantalizing. It kind of spirals its way down. Want me to tie you up the tube, Bob? It seems like they can't resist the tube if you just get in front of them. Which tube are you using? All this one looked like all chartreuse, and salty I got the one? yeah, the salty one. Bob, time to switch up. Leroy's on one. Switch to the tube. The tube. Dang. Oh, yep. Whoa! Terrible boat job. Oh, it's a clinic, boys. It was the one that hit your bob earlier. <laughs> oh! It's warming up. Wow. Doubles. Let's triple up, Bob. Come on. Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty. So I let it go all the way to the bottom and then I'll lift the rod tip once with a straight line or a taut line and then I'll feel the thump and then that's when I set it. Yes! Bob's crappie! Don't lose it! Bob's net? got one. Need a net? Yeah. Net How's it feel, Bob? It's amazing. <laughs> First coffee. Oh, oh, oh. All right. On the board. Did you feel how it bit? Yeah. I very, the, very I light the tick, bite. I felt a tick and then the line was swimming away. Oh, I finally got a crappie. Oh. Perfect. Oh, we were starting to mop them up, guys. We were mopping them up. We're gonna have crappie for dinner. So it took us about an hour and a half or so to actually figure them out. 
but once we picked the right color and the right technique, the right depth, it was just dialed in from there on. It could have been the bike too, the timing of the bike. Like maybe they weren't as active first thing in the morning. Um, we did get some first thing, but it seemed like after it hit eight o'clock, it was just on from eight o'clock on. Yeah. Solid three, solid three hours, just nonstop. So this whole day we were like trying a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different paddle tails, little minnow style baits, and then what we ended up figuring out is that they really liked this bait. This is what they keyed on, in on today. Right there. This one's all tore up, but Bob's on. that's what they're liking. And then about three feet up we got the bobber, Bob's throwing the bobber, killing the game. Another toad. Oh my god. You would think that. <laughs> They're like. Deplenished? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is ridiculous. We're still on them. This is, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank you, Sal. Sal's the one who told us about this. Killing it. Sal from the Starfire. Actually ran into Fernando today, too. That was really great seeing him again. Good friend. Good friend. I think we have enough to do a comparison between perch oh, yeah. and crappie. In the words of Bob, Robert Saito, we mopped them up, buddy. Mopped them up. Well, to be honest with you, for first time experience for with uh, crappie fishing, that, I don't know if you could beat that that day right there. That's, that's one for the books, for sure. Oh yeah, spoiled. I ain't never caught them that good before. Never. I mean, that was good. I mean, I've caught them before pretty good, but never when we had 50 fish in a, in a live well, ever. That's just amazing. It was a good bite. Stay oh. tuned for the catch. You guys are, we'll lay them out for you and you guys can see. It's gonna be pretty good. One, two, three, 54. Oh, geez. Last one, 55. 55? Yeah. There's a plug down in the bottom left. Can you pull the plug? Yeah. 55. 55.
All right, so under these plates, it says either crappie or perch. I can tell already. We can? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Which I one? think. Okay, what do you think? I think this is gonna be perch. Okay. I think that one's gonna be crappie. Okay. Unless right. you manipulated the sizing. Okay. Okay, you taste it. You taste it? Yeah, go ahead. Which one do we'll I taste first? When you got, Whichever you, one when you think. When you buy it, say crappy or perch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Crappy. Yeah, how can you tell? It's pretty, it's sweeter, I think. I don't know. Okay, now take, put that down and take a bite of the other one. That's perch. For sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the differences? In taste, and texture, and profile. Am I right? Huh? Am I right? I don't know. Uh, that is, this one is a good one. Which one's better, you think? I like this one. You like that one better? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then what's the difference? This one's good too, but... Okay, Mom, your turn. Your turn. I like, I like this one more. You like that one more? Mm -hmm. Mom, try this one first. This is the crappy. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, put that down. Now take the bite. This is the perch. How can you tell? What's the difference? Is it the texture? You know, the crappy is my first time to taste it, so I know this is the perch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. But both taste good. They both taste good? I think the, the perch has doesn't absorb the flavor so much of the seasoning, where the, the crappie takes more of that flavor, so it, it's like a more of a power punch. Where the perch is a little more like a blander fish, I guess. It's not. Okay. That's how I, I mean, you can tell. You just, and then the texture is different. The perch is a little softer. The crappie is a little bit, a little more bite to it. Okay. I, I need well, I already know because I cooked all of this stuff. So what's what? But either way, you're going to enjoy, right? You like yes. it? Yeah, both but what's what? Good. Mom, you said it both tastes good. Mm -hmm. So what's this one is perch. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I know my fishes. And of course, crappie. crappie. So both crappie. of us are right. I Yay! <laughs> and Dad's ready to dive in. What do we get? Wait, what do we get? What's the price? I know. We got slaw. That's your prize. And no. Slaw. We're gonna dive into these tacos, guys. I, I, I'll try it. I'll try it for you. This is the crappie. So. This might not be fair because the perch is actually a few days old, if not, you know, more than two or three days frozen. And then the crappie is pretty much fresh from today. So the idea is this is part one. Part two is gonna be, we're gonna catch some fresh perch and see if that makes a difference because that's the one thing that we couldn't control. Unless we caught both of them on the same day, that would be pretty awesome. Some fresh, that would be a good challenge is see if we can catch a freshwater fish that we can eat and a saltwater fish that we can eat both in the same day. That's a, that's a good challenge. Maybe we'll do that one day. But again, it was a fun day. Epic, epic trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Basically a huge montage of us just slaying fish. Ridiculous. But it's gonna be really good. <laughs> You're putting bacon on your taco, Dad? <laughs> Dang. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a PLT instead of a BLT. Perch, mm -hmm. lettuce, tomato. Alright, I gotta jump into one of these tacos. Fine. I actually, here's, here's, here's what I like doing. I actually like going with a bed of slaw first. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow the, the salsa spoon. But go with a bed of the slaw, like that. Nice bed of the slaw. That's uh, jalapeno, sour cream. It's got um, cilantro and lime. We will, we will. 
mom and dad are saying we should need to pray. But here's the crappie. Boom. Maybe just add a little bit of that green salsa. That's good enough. We got all the other condiments. Let's take a quick bite. Mmm, I love the jalapenos. I love them. Not too hot, huh, Mom? I didn't. This one? No, this one. I uh, know. No, I don't. Mmm, that pops. Can take a bite, honey? Mmm. That's all crappy. That's good. It's good. That's mm -hmm. good. That's a good flavor. All right, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the meal. That that jalapeno <laughs> makes that taco pop. Ooh. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. We'll catch you guys later. I was very jealous and butthurt when you guys had about a dozen already, and I was like, I'm, I can't catch one. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> You're fishing it like bass, Bob. Slow down. All right. I slowed down. Yeah. What else? 